What's going on everyone? So today we're gonna to be putting the Extreme Outback Magnum air compressor to the test and seeing just how fast we can fill up a 37 inch tire. Now, in my opinion, the Extreme Outback Magnum air compressor is the best 12 volt air compressor that you can buy. Um, however, the numbers are of course what's most important to people. And so we'll be filling up my 37 inch tire from 10 PSI up to 50 PSI. And I'll be stopping at five PSI increments so that way we can take down the times. And then of course, if you need to fill up your tires, then you can kind of calculate based on that. All right, so we've got the Extreme Outback Magnum air compressor. I have my air lines right here. Now I do not have a line going to the tank in the very back. So this is only the air compressor itself. And then I've got a, a 15 foot line here and I am using the Alpha Works uh, tire inflator. Now this thing is super awesome. Basically it's all digital and you enter in the PSI that you want it to stop at and plug it in and it will stop when you hit that pressure. Now the compressor, of course, when that does stop, it will take a few seconds to fill up the line. So I'm going to stop the timer basically when the compressor shuts off. All right, so I've got the truck running. I've got all of my lines hooked up. Up, and we'll double check here that the tire is at 10 PSI. There we go, 10 PSI. And go ahead and take our inflator here and we've got 15 PSI on there. So as soon as we hit 15 PSI, the compressor will shut off. All right, and here we go. There we go, compressor kicked on. All right, and I stopped it there right when this thing started beeping, but the compressor shut off right afterwards. So it looks more like we're at about 28 seconds, going from 10 PSI up to 15. So now I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect. I'll set our pressure gauge here at 20 PSI and then we'll keep going. All right, and here we go. And there we are, a minute and five seconds to go from 10 PSI up to 20 PSI. Continuing on, starting at 20 PSI with a 25 PSI target. and a minute and 39 to go from 10 PSI to 25 PSI. Now we're set at 30 PSI, and now we're getting closer to what most guys are probably gonna be running when they're on the street. And once again there, it looks like I uh, heard this thing beeping, so I hit stop, but the compressor stopped shortly after that. So we'll call it two minutes and 14 seconds to go from 10 PSI to 30 PSI. And continuing on, of course, now we're going from 30 to 35 PSI. So there we go, two minutes and 44 seconds to go from 10 PSI to 35 PSI. Now we're getting up there in the pressures, so now my target is set for 40. and three minutes and 19 seconds from 10 PSI to 40 PSI. Now from 40 to 45 PSI. Three minutes and 54 seconds 
And finally, 50 PSI, which is the highest pressure that I can put into this tire. And four minutes and 29 seconds to go from 10 PSI all the way up to 50 PSI. Now, one other thing I wanna show you is the 15 to 32 range. Now, I've seen this number thrown around online a few times. Now, obviously everyone runs slightly different pressures. However, I have seen 15 to 32 pop up quite a bit. So we'll run that test real quick. We'll go from 15 PSI to 32 and see where we're at. All right, so there we go, 15 PSI. And we'll go ahead and hit our preset here. So 32 PSI. And let's go ahead and get started. A minute and 47 seconds to go from 15 PSI to 32. All right, so there we have it, the inflation times with the Extreme Outback Magnum compressor and a 37 inch tire. Now this is pretty much a true 37 inch tire, so it is very big. A lot of the tests that I see are 33 or 35 inch tires, and uh, this compressor is really, really fast. Um, it operates under pretty much every condition, and it's been tested to much higher temperatures than many of the other compressors that are considered competitors for it. Now typically out on the trails, I usually air down to about 15 to 20 PSI, and so my air up times are really quick because I only fill up to 30 in the rear and 35 in the front. And so I'm, I'm under two minutes per tire. Now the Extreme Outback Magnum Compressor gets huge thumbs up from me. It's really nice to be able to fill up your tires at the end of the day without having to sit there for 20, 30 minutes to fill up. That's ridiculous. I see guys online talking about using smaller compressors and how it works okay. But sitting there for 30 minutes filling up your tires is, is ridiculous. And so if you've got larger tires or you don't like sitting there waiting for your tires to fill up, or you have more of a heavy duty truck and you have to fill up to 50, 60, 70 PSI, the Extreme Outback Magna Compressor is going to be a real, real game changer for you. Now, if you have any questions about the setup here with the Extreme Outback Magnum air compressor, go and put those down in the comments below. Of course, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video.